The tripod is a large three-legged necromorph composed of multiple human corpses, as you'd expect. There are female and male tripods. The tripods are much larger than the already big brutes you encounter in the game as well. On the male tripod you can actually see another corpse formed under the mouth of the tripod with the arms still sticking out and looking human-like. You can see some other body parts sticking out from the body as well. This necromorph is truly a mutant and looks vile and disturbing. On the female version of the tripod you can actually see an infant's body growing out of the tentacle the tripod possesses. You only encounter a female tripod once, but the male versions are more common. You encounter one not much longer than an hour or two in the game, and you encounter multiple tripods in the nest in Chapter 9. Before that moment you get surrounded by multiple tripods in the elevator in Chapter 7. You can retaliate against the female tripod by shooting the glowy substance on the tentacle, which appears to be a crawler attached to it, also being a necromorph. At least, it really looks like that, and it will explode after you shoot it, scaring the tripod off. As for the male ones, you want to shoot off their limbs by shooting the same glowy-like substance on their forelimbs and arms. While doing this, you want to stay on the move to avoid the speed of the tripod. If you aren't a complete noob at aiming, the most effective way to shoot off the limbs of a male tripod is by using a powerful weapon like the Seeker Rifle or Contact Beam. I hope you enjoyed the Beastery episode of the tripod. Thanks for watching and I'll leave the lovely distasteful death scene for you to enjoy or low fat.